Uh, are you guys going to allow me to go, or...? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's your turn, Wildcard. Okay, I'm just going to proceed. Uh, this is a question for Midkiller2. Now, before I ask this, I should say that while I'm having, I'm having a little bit of difficulty following what both of you are saying, as it's a little bit choppy, uh, so forgive me if I don't hear any, everything you say. Now, this is a, this is a question related to understand. This is a question to make clear to related to his understanding of theism in general. Uh, while I am a Christian, I do not at all subscribe to the idea that all other religions are wrong, or that there must exist a dichotomy between all religions. While it has been the stereotype among popular culture that Christianity dictates a dichotomy between all religions, the opposite has been an idea present in Catholic theology since the 14th century, and perhaps even within the Eastern Orthodox faith as well. I would like to cite the 14th century Catholic theologian. Uh, this 14th century Catholic cardinal wrote a treatise called De Pace Fidel, or The Peace of Faith. In it, he imagined a meeting in heaven between Christians, Muslim, Jews, and people of other faith, uh, where the conference agrees on something called Una re, uh, Religio in Verite uh, Ritium. Forgive me if my Latin really sucks here. Uh, which means in English, a single faith manifested in different rites. The dialogue assumes a greater accuracy of Christianity to the true state of God, but does not deny that all other religions does not also possess pieces of the truth, or that they might be right about something where Christianity is wrong. Basically, his work credits Christianity with the most accurate representation for who God is, but also gives credit to other religions for the truths that they contain. I would like to know whether you subscribe to the idea that Christianity, rather than holding a monopoly on truth, instead holds the greatest grasp for what truth is, or whether you believe there should be a dichotomy between different religions and that one religion should be justifiably be called correct and the others wrong. God, I platonically love you, wild card. Sorry, I had to say that. Uh, you think you had a hard time following what we were saying? Jeez. Well, I uh, certainly would like to answer your, I certainly will enjoy answering your question. Uh, the basis of Christianity is I the acceptance of the atoning death of Jesus on the cross. And if Christianity is the only religion that, that accepts the atoning death of Jesus on the cross, now, there might be some other religion out there that accepts the atoning death of C Jesus on the cross. I'm not aware of it. Uh, but if there was another one out there that did, su did as much, then... Uh, that would be a sort of way to heaven. Uh, but regarding uh, the so-called monopoly on truth, uh, that kind of uh, depends on... I mean, I mean it, I'm sorry, I'm kind of slipping all over the place. Uh, there are obviously some truths that other religions accept that, well, are true within a Christian worldview. Uh, for instance, uh, within Islam, uh, there is one God. That's what Muslims believe. That's part of the truth, uh, but obviously it is not a sufficient condition for salvation. And uh, as far as I can tell, Christianity is the only uh, religion that offers uh, necessary and sufficient conditions for salvation. I hope that answers your question. Is that good for you, wild card? Uh, would it be alright if I had a follow-up question? Yeah, sure. Uh, I, I'm sorry, King. Uh, you're next. Would it be alright if I went to the bathroom real fast while you asked me, or is this something I need to hear? <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, King Heathen. Uh, I'm just, once again, the mid killer too. I'm just wondering, uh, you know, if, if, this, if this assumption is true, Uh, Meg, is it alright if I ask a question, or should we just wait for honest discussion? Or? Well, if this question is directed at me, then uh, I don't think honest discussion needs to be present. Uh, 
Okay, well, I'm just wondering how you, you can uh, relate this uh, to salvation. Uh, for example, because if it is true that Christianity doesn't hold the monopoly on truth as it holds the greatest, uh, greatest perspective for what the truth is, then other then non-Christian theists will also recognize certain parts of that truth and hold on to it legitimately. And I'm wondering how, uh, if you have any ideas, now this, this is more optional than... Uh, like it's all right if you want to decline this question, but I'm just wondering if you have any thoughts on uh, uh, salvation in non-Christian religions with respect to people recognizing truths within non-Christian religions. Um, I would say, uh, in response to your question, that Christianity does have a monopoly on uh, salvific truth, uh, although I've I've. Lately, I've been thinking about Eastern Orthodoxy, because uh, uh, Cobain uh, has been, uh, he, talk, he approached me about, he's been talking about how he's actually thinking of converting to Eastern Orthodoxy, and uh, basically it says that there is possibility of salvation in other religions if people are sincere about seeking God. Um, I wouldn't know about that, but it definitely, so uh, definitely sounds uh, pretty interesting to me. Uh, so I can't say for 100% certainty that that interpretation is wrong. And I think that's exactly what Nicholas de Cusa was going after in the first place. If it's okay, I want to make a brief uh, point on, on that. Um, nothing, not, nothing really, I'm not debating anything here, but I see gamblers still in here, and... Uh, you should have a discussion with him if you ever get a chance, because he's uh, quite quite an awesome guy. Uh, but he he introduced me to not I shouldn't say introduced me because I was actually brought up in Greek or, or Greek uh, Orthodoxy. I I have to say if everyone if all theists were like uh, wild card and gambler uh, e e even mid killer because I I don't find you offensive in any way. Um, I, I wouldn't be on YouTube. It's the um, it, it is the Pentecostals and the even and the Hardcore creationist evangelicals who have made, put me on, onto uh, YouTube. I, I can see King Heathen knows exactly what, what I'm talking about, and I know for a fact, based on his videos, Agnostic Man knows all too well exactly what I'm talking about. Even if uh, I, I still believe that your your, your uh, philosophy on, on truth, a, as in religion, is is wrong, I, I have to say. Uh, I really wouldn't give a, uh, a, a, forgive my language, I wouldn't give a shit uh, about religion at all if it was the, uh, just the, the orthodoxy um, in there. I, I find them to be uh, much more rational and nice. There's a guy, and I'm going to plug him right now, uh, All Saints Monastery. He's a Canadian uh, Archbishop of the Orthodox Church. I would watch his videos because it's, it's just so refreshing to uh, watch a theist um, not just damn atheists to hell all the time. N Mig Killer d doesn't do that. His, he's, he's more of the intellectual kind. But if you listen to people like Gear Up and all of that, it's, uh, uh, it's just so frustrating. It was nice having an actual intellectual discussion, which I had to use my brain cells with, it, as it has been with Gambler um, and Wildcard. So I, I just want to say, as far as orthodoxy is concerned, if any of the Christian religions are going to be right, I hope it's orthodoxy. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, and unless uh, there's any objection, uh, King Heathen, uh, it is your turn. Thank you so much for waiting. Hey, Edens. Guys, I think both of you did a great job for what I saw. I do apologize. I missed a big chunk of the middle. Uh, I got pulled away. Um, so I apologize if you guys already covered this. My question is to Mig Killer 2 about something you said uh, earlier on. Um, I don't think you are, but please correct me if I'm wrong. Are you, do you support the Noah's Flood as being